Good morning and you know the drill, at least hopefully by now you do. Time for another mission. And this time, I am here to find a plane that crashed. And I have to say, haha, that's what you get for riding a plane, which rhymes with train. And it's really a great reason for me to just talk about trains again, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to compare and contrast trains and planes. Trains, I like them. Planes, I don't like them. Trains, they're cool. Planes, they but they make me feel woozy probably because of my fear of heights. Trains are all futuristic on the outside and fancy schmancy on the inside. Planes are only futuristic if they're in a battle and usually even then aren't and on the and the insides kind of suck apparently and seem very generic no matter what. I'm under the assumption that all planes have the same inside because in every movie and thing I've ever seen you just see this generic inside of the plane. It's the thing about TV I usually don't identify with it very well because it just has generic stuff but the exception is probably commercials for um, supermarkets you know, Myers and Walmart because all of the inside of Walmarts and Myers pretty much look the same and they, you know, they shoot those in real ones so, it's like, oh, I've been there before. But enough about TV and me ranting. It's time for me to kill another boss within the first five minutes. Like I always do, right? Plenty of time. I think. Plus he called me old, so he has to die. Right? I'm pretty sure the only reason I like this fight is because there's a bunch of extra killing you get to do of the random zombie robots, which are in themselves a cool concept. The thing I really don't like about it is when he thro <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I think I'm coughing up a hairball. Um anyway, um when he throws that uh staff at you that kinda gets really annoying. It's worse when he does it and you're trying to kill zombie robots at the same time. Like right there. It's even worse if the zombie robots are closing in on you and you're just like fending them off. <coughs> you know? And the staff just like comes in and ruins your awesome moment. <coughs> oh man. I'm like seriously almost losing my voice here. But I think I should be okay. I'm not gonna die. I'm like that sucker of a boss. That went down in not even four and a half minutes, man. That's okay, because this mission isn't over. Instead, guess what? I have to go all the way back on a dumb escort mission thing. Isn't that exciting? So now we shall begin our trek back to the other end of the stage. There's pretty much nothing new about it, but might as well show you it. As you can see, 
that um guy is pretty slow moving which is what makes this annoying because you kind of just have to stop every few seconds for him and if you don't he goes off screen and stops completely and then you have to go back and then touch him and then he does that annoying speech that gets in the way of your gaming and it's all just a big mess. Which is why this is quite possibly the worst mission in the game. I mean, you know, it has a cool boss fight. But I mean, I get really tired really fast with these vultures. It's like, you know, I'm not dead, so you don't have to eat me for breakfast. You know, breakfast sounds really good right now, though. I should have some breakfast, even though it's 8.30 at night. Oh wow, I'm surprised he didn't fall behind right there. Seems like he usually would. I like how I'm so feeling so protective of him, just for the sake of points, when obviously I don't need points because I'm going to fail at every mission anyway, in terms of points. I'm feeling so protective of him that I'd rather take damage than let him be damaged. Which is kind of a nice guy tendency of mine, probably, but, you know. Okay, that vulture's gonna be back. Told ya. Okay, we're almost there. We've made it to the tank. Get lost, vulture. Nobody likes you. Oh, hey, I gained some skills. See that? That means I can do barrel rolls now. Only barrel rolls are usually for defending yourself and this is sort of an attack. But I'm still going to count it as being able to do barrel rolls. That was a waste of some time now, wasn't it? And as usual, yeah, yeah, you can see <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no problem So, uh, yeah, that mission's over So, good morning Good morning, it's that time again to begin a mission this time we get to go back to an old level. This is why I know the level so well is because even though I've only beaten the game once, you go through most of the areas so many times. Of course they ch change things up a bit for you after every time through. This place is probably the least um, remade area, but that's okay. It's not like it's very complicated. It's just sort of a passage that goes right on through. So yeah, this is what they did with the place. Definitely completely different from a few episodes ago, right? same place but all the stuff in it is quite different like the enemies and traps and stuff most importantly the boss
Oh, I hate this boss. I really do. Fortunately, I still have to kill it. It's got the generic shoot me in the face mentality. Well. you know, I can slash him in the face too, but that works just as well. I'm sucking it up. In a few minutes, me having extra HP to suck it up with won't really help much. That boss sure went down fast. Yeah. And by now, I mean stop worrying about this dumb cutscene zero. You're gonna die. I'm glad that I have that increased running speed thing, because, uh, as you can see, this is a fairly hectic thing. In fact, the first time I did this, I had a heck of a lot of trouble and kept dying, because I didn't have that. Whew! Man, that was a quick mission, though. It's like... an adrenaline rush, isn't it? Whew. And so now, I get to use the data on that. I guess that's the good thing about that mission going so fast, is that I have time to do this. Eventually you also get a very, very useless weapon called the Shield Boomerang. For now, I get that thing. It's fairly useless still, but you know, it's good for some things. I think I'll switch back to my Buster though. And with that, good morning! <laughs>